everybody welcome back and in today's video we're going to look at a vital topic about god's kingdom and the main topic we're going to be looking at revolves around about how god's king about how god has to choose the one lakh and forty four thousand and then only he can fulfill and reign with god's kingdom but in between there's a major point we need to be missing and this major point is in between the first advent and the thousand years of the God's kingdom. And I think you all may have already guessed it. But for the people who haven't, go read Revelation 20th chapter 4th verse and you'll clearly understand. And we're going to be talking about second presence. So let's jump in right now. So first of all, there are 39 books in the Old Testament. Yeah? And 27 books in the New Testament. But, altogether, 66 books. And these 66 books execute what Jesus Christ is going to do for God's plan. And all the things that Jesus Christ has done is explained in the Bible. And it's revealed to us through this. And especially in the Old Testament, since it clearly tells us in the 39 books that the connection is directly coming to Jesus Christ. And then we need to understand, for example, that in Matthew 1st chapter and in Luke 3rd chapter, it explains Jesus Christ's lineage. And in the lineage, it explains to us about how the people who are in his lineage represent and fulfill the Old Testament books. So this also explains to us that Jesus Christ was imp had an important role also in the Old Testament for God's plan. So, let's go into the main topic about what we're going to look at. So first of all, we're not going to be going deep into second presence this week. We're going to go into a reason about what's the difference between the Matthew chapter and the Luke chapter of Jesus Christ's lineage. Because we're not going to go into that deep this week since we'll be going deeper into the following weeks. So first of all, the one, one of the differences is in between them is in Matthew chapter, it's the lineage of Jesus Christ from Abraham to Jesus Christ. But, in the Luke chapter, the lineage of Jesus Christ is from Adam to Jesus Christ, a difference. And then the main difference we're going to be looking at though this week is that why after David's name, the two sons are different, but Joseph is the same. Jesus Christ's adapted father. Why is it the same? Why is it like that? So to find this out, first of all, we need to understand Matthew and Luke chapter completely. So first of all, let's look at Matthew chapter. So in Matthew chapter, it explains to us about how Jesus, Joseph revolves around Jesus Christ's involvement, since it describes to us about how an angel, how he found about Mary's pregnancy, and about how he finds how the angel comes to Joseph in a dream and tells them the, what so what the situation is. And then in the second point is, jo the angel comes to Joseph in another dream. And the angel tells to Joseph that they're warning to them that they must flee to Egypt. And they flee to Egypt and he obeys the angel and takes his family. And then the third point is the angel says they can go back to his, the land of Israel. So in a dream for the third for the third dream. And then Joseph goes with his family to, to the land of Israel and settles there. OK, so then the Luke chapter mainly revolves around Mary. So we all know. Mary, Mary is was visiting Gabriel, angel Gabriel, as an important point. And then she also visits her relative Elizabeth in the Luke chapter. And it also talks about how she talks to Simeon who tells her about Jesus Christ's sufferings that's going to happen in the future. And also about when Jesus Christ in the festival got missing for in, at the age of 12. And they searched for him for three days. And on the third day, Ma they find him. And then Mary and Jesus talk, talk about why he's done this. And Joseph is not mainly speaking 
or spoken in this part to show Mary is the main revolver on this Luke chapter. So, now we understand about Matthew and Luke chapter, that Matthew chapter mainly revolves around Joseph's involvement to Jesus Christ. Luke chapter mainly revolves on Jesus Christ's involvement to Mary. So, this still doesn't, though, clarify my point about why the two, uh, two sons after David are different different after even though joseph is the same after that so let's look at the actual reason now so the reason is that why after jo after david the two sons are different even though joseph is the same after them is the official records are generally recorded of the person who is mainly the head